Disney CEO Bob Iger got absolutely destroyed yesterday after it was revealed that in 2023, the 100th year anniversary of Disney as a company, he led them to one of the worst years in history, yet he still got paid over $30 million while firing thousands of people, leading box office bombs, streaming disasters, and of course, PR nightmares. But now he's getting even more bad news because after Disney came out yesterday and tried to send a message to Nelson Peltz, the activist investor who for the past year has been critical of Disney, saying that Disney doesn't know what they're doing, that Bob Iger specifically doesn't know what they're doing, and there needs to be a big change, potentially even in leadership. Disney decided, you know what, we're going to try to put them down. And they officially rejected Nelson Peltz's attempts to get himself and former Disney employee Jay Rasulo on the board. We saw this happen yesterday. Disney CEO Bob Iger pay hit $31.6 million in 2023. Man, I wish I could lead a company to maybe one of their worst years in their entire history and get paid $30 million. That sounds nice. Board rejects candidates nominated by activist investors. Well, here we are one day later, and it's been made very, very clear that that fight is not over because knowing that Disney would likely reject this, Nelson Peltz decided to take things into his own hands. Fight on, Nelson Peltz nominates himself and former Disney exec Jay Rasulo for board seats. The Triangle Group's Nelson Peltz has formally asked Disney shareholders to elect himself as well as former Disney executive Jay Rasulo to the company's board of directors at the annual meeting this spring. Now, once again, this has been happening for quite some time. This battle has been going on for a long time with Nelson Peltz specifically being very critical of Disney and for their missteps, for getting too political, for having no idea what they're doing, losing billions of dollars in different avenues of their business. And with the control of so many shares, including those by Ike Perlmutter, who has an ax to grind with Bob Iger himself, he's saying, listen, I think I deserve a seat at the table. I've helped companies recover before. I know what I'm doing. Jay Rasul has worked at Disney before. We can come in there and we can help this company regain the heights where they actually should be instead of floundering like they have been. Disney doesn't want that to happen because they know if somebody like that gets on the board, they're going to get called out for all the bullshit that they're doing. And Bob Iger won't just be surrounded by yes men. The activist investor who's allied with Ike Perlmutter holds a war chest of about $30 billion worth of Disney stock. Tryon, in its own proxy statement today that followed Disney's earlier this week, reiterated complaints about Bob Iger's leadership and Disney significantly underperformed its peers and its potential. The fund also asked shareholders to withdraw votes for three nominees put forward by another activist investor. It said they don't have the same level of relevant experience or qualification as the Tryon nominees. Disney believes all five nominees are unqualified. Disney put forth their own list of like 10 different names that they're nominating for seats at the board, just for the record. The company claimed on Tuesday that Peltz had not actually presented a single strategic idea for Disney. It said Rasulo had been out of the business for too long and would have an outdated perspective and that since he was passed over for CEO in 2015, he'd have a hard time working constructively for Iger. Nelson Peltz, however, responded like this, and he went on CNBC and gave an interview about this, slammed Bob Iger, slammed Disney for the way they've been doing things, and said that he has a plan to help fix them. In a CNBC appearance this morning, Peltz said that Disney's entire board, including Bob, owns less than $15 million worth of stock. That's not a hell of a lot of commitment to this company, given the fees, etc., they get from being a director or an officer. And if you want to talk about Bob... Bob has taken a billion dollars out of this company since he's been here. A billion dollars. Last year, he got paid $31.5 million. Earnings were down. They missed everything, and the stock was down. So if, if Bob Iger thought that things would get any easier in 2024, that is certainly not the case. Nelson Peltz is coming for that board seat. And right now, what it really looks like is that Bob Iger, all of Bob Iger's attention and focus is not on actually fixing the company. It's on making sure that he doesn't get in the door, right? So that he can keep his yes men, so he can keep everything the way he wants it, so that he's safe and secure and has no danger of being possibly forced out. That's what's happening right now. That's where all his attention is. And at the end of the day, I probably think that Disney is going to win and get what they want, but certainly they are being pressed hard right now by Nelson Peltz, who continues to call out Disney and Bob Iger for their failures. What do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments section below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.